I guess my archive is trying to represent people from the African diaspora. I go out and I try to meet as many people as I can. And one way for me to keep this moment is to take a photograph. The Black Balloon Archive is a working title. It's a matter of accumulating pictures and then trying to make sense of them. I looked at it, the whole show, as a book with chapters. The library is the first chapter. It represents images that have been around me, whether they are in my studio or whether things that I've seen. I take photographs, but I also try to see how I live with them, how I digest them, and how I want to show them. I use a lot of fabric, but I use other surfaces as well. It's a certain idea of what I consider a, a visual tactility. It's something that's always been part of my practice. Bamboo, it's natural, it's very strong, but it's also very smooth. For me, it's the building stone for creating my own space, inner space. The chapter of Peckham was sort of the main chapter. The outside walk represents literally Peckham Rye. Because it is my local high street, I wanted to represent that. What you see in the inside is a lot of the prints that I've done while I had my studio in Peckham. The foundation of a lot of diaspora communities lies in places like churches or in your gatherings. And I wanted to kind of sum this up in a certain way. The idea was to have something that is round, organic, and you go around it, and there is no fixed idea of what community is. The Women's Corner was motivated through meeting people of the LGBT community who, in a wider sense, I think for me, really represents something that is very much alive right now in London. For me, it made sense to, to make it a sort of a feminine corner, you know, make it a space that actually feels warm. If I create a space, particularly for black women, hair is, a, is an important thing on many levels. I wanted to have a live program because for me, having this space, it means bringing people in, to bring those pictures that I can bring in here alive.